Hey, what's up, Lighted Righteous? This is Erica Thompson. I'm a praise dance instructor as well as a choreographer. When you ask what perseverance means, I feel that there always has to be some kind of opposition. There always has to be some kind of storm um, or something that needs to be endured. And if something was pleasant, something was nice, then it wouldn't feel like you're enduring. I mean, no one endures a vacation to the Bahamas and nobody endures, uh, you know, things that are, are pleasing or things that are desired. So obviously there's, there's some negativity, some uh, animosity, some adversity that's occurring at that time, and that's what makes it feel like um, an endurance part. So um, when you think about perseverance, there's always some kind of opposition, and it's just the ability to um, endure and then overcome opposition. Perseverance is important because in the midst of perseverance, there's always an end result, and that end result may be a lesson that's learned. That end result could be um, an actual reward or a means to an end. It can be a build of character or integrity. So you have to have that in mind while you persevere. That's what helps you persevere. That's what it, um, gives you motivation to endure. And then you will achieve that end result. For me, perseverance is, is daily. I mean, there's always some kind of obstacle presenting itself, whether it's getting up out of bed or whether it's, you know, something more severe like getting fired or, you know, an unexpected death in the family, things like that. Um, for me, I just most recently I had to overcome letting something go, something that was really dear to my heart, uh, something that was a dream, a vision. Uh, but I had to realize that the dream or vision didn't lie within an organization, but rather in an organism, which is living and breathing constantly at all times. And so with that in mind, it, it was a struggle because you have all your naysayers, you have your backbiters, you have the gossipers, you have the people who are jealous of you and only want to say things to bring you down. But, you know, for me, I, I had to hold on to the faith that I have. I had to hold on to the example that Christ gave when he persevered on his way to be crucified. Um, carrying that cross is something that is a daily thing for us Christians. It's something that is a requirement for us to be disciples of Christ. And when I pictured him and what he went through, I used that as my primary motivation to carry that cross of animosity that I had to so that I can identify with my Savior. I can identify with Christ and what he felt, what, what it felt like to be betrayed and still have to eat, you know, supper with the person that betrayed you and, and treat them no different from the rest of your followers. And, and that's exactly what I had to go through. So to persevere through that was just, um, it, was, it was bittersweet, but it was almost amazing. And after that realization that I was that much like Christ, um, it was, it, it just gave me an overwhelming peace. And so whatever you're going through, um, if you're a person of faith, identify with Christ because that's going to be your strength. That's going to be, you know, what gets you through. And just understand that at the end of every crucifixion, there's a resurrection. So if you're out there and you're going through something and it's just, it's, it's hell, it seems like there's no way out, it just seems everywhere you turn there's some kind of negativity, um, rehearse what's good, rehearse those things that are positive, even though it doesn't seem like that. Because your mindset and your attitude is everything, everything. Those people that I've seen overcome some of the hardest uh, obstacles in their lives, have been the people who always have a positive outlook, always are looking for the good and the God in their situations. Don't feed into people who are only gonna feed you negativity. And girls, ladies, I got something for you. Stop calling your friends and telling them everything and venting all the time, because I'm guilty of it, we all are. But go to God, cast your cares on him because he's the only one who can actually provide a solution. A lot of times we feed off of our friends and they feed into our emotions and then they make it escalate just like this. 
And so it comes to a point where, you know, at, at some point you have to lay it down. Now it's okay to vent as, as long as your motive is to get a solution. But if, if it's not productive, don't even go there. So thanks for tuning in. This has been Light and Righteous. Keep it real, keep it positive, keep it sharp.